Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, the 29th of April. We are almost there. Very soon it will be month end. We'll be starting a new month, which is uh, May. And then, uh, you know what? This is the time that I don't like. The winter time, I really hate this one. <laughs> I can't work when it's winter, man. I know there are a lot of people who like uh, when it's hot. I mean, when it's cold, especially my sons here. They enjoy cold weather. I don't enjoy. Hence, I don't see myself staying in Europe or any other parts of the world, you know. I'd rather visit, but I'll never stay there. I'm, I'm fine in Africa, in South Africa, where the weather is good. Uh, when it's starting this time of the year, Travel for me. <laughs> I don't know you that side. Uh, you'll be shocked. I'm all by myself today. Uh, the guys are not here. A number of reasons. Saddam has been trying to connect. The good news, he's still in PE. You know, he's still destiny enjoying themselves since they left on Tuesday. And you know what is happening with Saddam and his crew? When they leave, it becomes a fanfare. You know, they entertain themselves. They do all sorts of things, you know, it's like a tour, you know, and then they go to the tour sites and all that, which is quite nice. I'll be showing everything that was happening in PE uh, towards the end of the show. Uh, but uh, I'm going to start here. But let, him, let me remind you, my name is The Sobri Boys, Wale Fatsi. The show is called TBR double sf show which simply means tbr solution sports forum and then uh, yeah i was supposed to be joined by toby who have just i don't know i think he's not feeling well uh, because i can't reach him over the phone and then tabo tabiki tabino the only brazilian that we have uh, he has just indicated that unfortunately he's at the mall which is understandable shakes Bangwanya indicated that he has to take his son to uh, to the game which is good because as a father you need to be there and support uh, the young man i really appreciate that and then yeah hence i'm solo but i think uh, Saban will join me a little bit later he has just indicated that he's still trying to log in now there's quite a lot that we can talk about let me start here uh, you know i've got the nephew who's deaf and then he plays football he loves football so much and then uh, um, they are playing all right uh, you know sports for the deaf people uh, as you can see there uh, arrows deaf fc they are playing vampire deaf fc at the orange farm and ac milan deaf fc they're playing united deal fc in togoza Silent Boys FC and Rovers Stars Def C. They are playing Soweto. Atreville FC, they are playing Pigeon Def FC. And Sosha, probably Sosha Nguve, a Deal FC, they are playing Kanana Deal F, a Def, not Def FC in Sosha Nguve. So I don't know his team, which one is his team. They are playing today. And then, uh, yeah, we are looking forward to, to those games. Sure. And then a big up, uh, young man, I really appreciate. And then I hope you do well. And then, uh, yeah, you know, I'll be watching very closely. And then tell me the results as time goes on. Not only that, uh, you know, the gold, old, old players are playing. You know, uh, the Marble Top 32 first annual soccer tournament. You have a lot of old players there, they will be playing today. Um, and then uh, this will be playing at Palabora at 2 p.m. You've got your Brian Maloy there, you've got your Dr. Kumalo there, Steve Likulea, Javu Pune, uh, Lakhwati, Lucky Lakhwati is there, Jerry Kosana is also one of them who will be there. So uh, it's going to be very uh, exciting. The people in that area, in uh, uh, Palabora, please go and watch these old pl players. Uh, Joseph Ngake, I don't know whether you still remember that guy, Joseph Ngake will also be playing. Because what I've seen, these old players, you know what? They still have the touches, the old touches. 
I've seen you, Ronaldo, uh, uh, Ronaldo Rasmero, uh, Razario uh, of Brazil, together with your Ronaldinho. They're big, but they still have the skill that you cannot believe uh, that these guys, uh, they still have a skill. So that's the tournament. So people in Palabora, please go and support your old guys, and then uh, you'll be not be disappointed by watching. Welcome, uh, uh, last one. Uh, everybody could not uh, be able to come in. There were a lot of issues. Saram is in PE. They're enjoying themselves. I'll show you uh, the, the, the things that was happening over there at the end of the show. So, yeah, um, Sheikh says to take his son to, 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 to the games. This is very important. Welcome to the show. Greet the viewers. And then uh, as I was showing, Yes, uh, good morning, Mr. Shabalala, and to the viewers out there. And yeah, thanks for having me uh, today. Okay, I'll tell you one thing. Let me show you the fixture. This is the fixture, all right, for today. I hope you see. Um, I'm struggling. I don't see my spectacles. I don't see properly. I hope you can see. Um, there is a, yes, I can see it. A Royal AM, they are playing Orlando Pirates. And then uh, there is also uh, the, 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 at at seven thirty, all right. And then this is the game of the third May, all right. It's a upcoming game, and again on the very same date, which is the third of May. And then um, uh, I don't know why do you have Royal AM playing Orlando Pirates again at, at at three. I don't know. Can you see what I see? That was yes, a, no, I can see it. Yeah. That was a, now it's a new feature. I don't know whether they've changed the feature uh, according to PSL. All right. Please be advised that the following change in the DSTV premiership. Oh, yeah. So in other words, it was scheduled for half past seven on the same date, but it's, now it's going to be scheduled for three o'clock. Can you see that? So what, yes, do I can think, see it. what do you think uh, is going to happen there? Uh, before we go there, I also wanted us to share something. Um, I want you to say a bit about that before I can talk about this. What's your take? What do you think? What's going to happen? Yeah, I mean, um, Orlando Pirates versus uh, Twisty Twasha, uh, yeah. Royal AM. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be a very interesting game. I think even for Royal AM, uh, they are fighting to stay in the top eight position. You know, um, they haven't had a good season this season. Um, they're struggling a bit, but I think they want you to secure their spot in the top eight. You know, and Pirates want to secure their number, uh, the, the 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 number two spot so that they can qualify for the CAF Champions League. So for both teams, I think um, it's it's a tough fixture which they have to go all out because they both want to gain something out of this fixture. Saddam said, uh, if the Pirates guys can come and talk to him nicely and say, give me position two, and then he takes net bank. <laughs> <laughs> he said, if they can do that, he will allow them to take position two. Otherwise, he's going to overtake them. Yeah, so those are some of the news. Now, let's move on here. Now, we've seen, we are going towards the end of the league. Who do you think will win the following titles? Who will be the coach of the season? Football of the football of the season, player of the season, keeper of the season, defender of the season, of the season, midfield of the season, young player of the season, the goal of the season. If you can give me uh, what you think, and then uh, then then we'll take it from there. Just start from there, and then you tell me who do you think will scoop that. And then um, once I, I, I hear what you're saying, then then I'll join you. All right. Okay. Um, coach of the season has to be Rulani Mukwena. Um, they've already won the league, so I think it'll go to him uh, for sundowns. And then football of the season for me, I've got three candidates uh, between Kesha Smailula, Munapule Saleng and um, Peter Shalulile. And then uh, player of the season as well, 
it's within those three players again, which I've named Keshes Mailula, Saleng, and Shalulile. And then keep up the season for me has to be Ronan Williams. I mean, he's on 17 clean sheets currently. He has equaled Monique Joseph's record. He and he can still surpass it. And then defend of the season. Uh it's a bit tight. I'm not sure yet. But um I, I actually liked uh the boy um uh uh Kuluseo Mudao, the right back from Sundowns. I like I liked him very much this season. My midfield of the season for me personally, I loved Neo Mayema from mm. Sundowns and Debojo Mukwena for me. Those two this season, they played well. And then young player of the season has to be Kesha Smailula for me, um, the Mamelodi Sundowns striker. Um, he had a breakthrough season, you know, this season. It's his first season and already he has, he has done so much. Goal of the season, uh, I think it's a tough one. I think Yusuf yeah. Mart as well, the first leg of the Soweto Derby, he, he scored a brilliant goal actually from the halfway line. And to please mm. as well, scored mm. a beautiful goal this week. Yeah, so mm. Mm. for me, it's between those two goal mm. of the seasons. But yeah, mm. this is my take. Mm. Mm. You know what? I think that one of uh, Yusuf Mart can take it. You look at the distance, all right? Yeah. For yeah. me, the distance counts so much. So that that's that's my that's me. In terms of the uh, keep of the season, I don't know what did you say. But for me, I, I see that uh, Rowan Williams will take that one. I don't know. Did you say that? Yes, no, I said Rowan. I said Rowan Williams. Yes, yes. Yes, I said Rowan Williams. Oh, sorry. I, I think you missed me there. I, I don't know whether uh, you heard when I said Rowan Williams is following us eh? on, our, mm -hmm. on our show, which is quite good. And then, um, but uh, before we go any further, I just want to talk a little bit about Bizum Siman. I read an article about Bizum, all right? They said uh, Bizum revolutionized Mamelodi Sandow. They said when he came in, Everybody was reporting to uh, the, 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 the president or the chairman by then, Dr. Patrice Mutsepe. So there was no way, you know, they would bypass the coach. So Pito, when he came in, he stopped that. He said, no one is going to report to the president. Everybody must report to me. That was the first thing that Pito did. Then they said, uh, he went further and said, He's going to professionalize Mamelodi Sundowns. Everybody will report at half past eight in the morning and knock off at half past three in the afternoon. All right? And then he even went to the infrastructure of uh, uh, Mamelodi Sundowns. When he went to the infrastructure, he recommended that things should be changed. Okay? And then uh, he also... Uh, recommended that the, 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 the wage gap between the players should be closed. It should not be this and so much. The other one is earning so much, all right? And I can see that Saddam is trying to reach me. I will see whether I'll be able to connect with him. As I try to connect with him, then we can continue to, 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 to give input, all right? They said um, he then uh, apparently that didn't go down well with other people in the technical staff, in the team, you know, and then others were working against, you know, against him, you know, trying to make sure that he fails, but he stood his ground, you know, and then uh, he brought so many changes, but not only that, we need also to congratulate Dr. Patrice Mutsepe. Remember at some point when people wanted Pito out when he was escorted, at uh, Atrevin, and then uh, Dr. Patrice Mutsipe stood by him. So, and then now some people are arguing, according to this article, that as much as Ruan Mukwena is a good coach, but they lay, they found a, 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 a good foundation that has been laid by Pito. This is how you learn. You learn by looking what others have done and follow. 
So as I always, in business, it's very simple. You copy and paste. So I don't know. I want to hear your comment as far as that is concerned. As you talk, let me try to reach that up and, and, and hear what he says. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, um, that's a very solid and 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 it's actually a good statement you know um uh when it comes to coach pito msimani because of um we all know that he had laid a proper good foundation uh at sundowns and this is why sundowns it is today you know um so when pito arrived at mamelodi sundowns we all know that he didn't have a good season first two seasons were not really good for him came a point whereby even the supporters wanted uh, Coach Pito to be sacked, you know, and uh, Dr. Petrus Mutipe, which was the chairman by then, had told them that they need to be patient with him. He believes in Coach Pito and that he's building something. Uh, he built a, a proper system whereby it hasn't been done before or anywhere in South Africa. That is why Sundowns it is where it is today now because of that the foundation that uh, he had laid is what sundown is today you know um i fully applaud the decision and the actions that he took in terms of putting a system in place because there is a system in place in sundowns i mean we when you can when you actually walk in at lord Corp, um if if you haven't been there i mean, I mean if people would take an opportunity and go to Clorkop and see how everything has been ran in that whole clubhouse. They would actually see that this is something different, like no, like not an ordinary club would actually uh, do that, you know. So I actually applaud what he had done and putting the players and the whole technical team, the whole staff in line in order for the club to run smoothly, you know. That is why even at games, you, just, you don't just find players and the technical team there, but you find even the kit managers, the club managers are also there. Everyone is there. So it is a system already that's been put in place, which is why they are actually grinding the results and doing the right thing currently. So, yeah, what they've done there is actually superb. You know, uh, I must say, um, uh, they are doing well as, a, as, a, as sundowns, and then uh, they must be congratulated as for Pito, not only Pito, um, what's his name? He's also doing well, Rulana Mukwena. But let's move on. The show can't stop. One team that I'm very impressed, but before I go there, let me tell you this. This is very hilarious. I, mean, I was speaking to Saddam on the other side. We take it with the table again. I'm Louis de Muraska Hono again. I'm happy. And send the chimpanzee ask her how now connect. And he's, have, <laughs> he's having a lot of people there. He wanted definitely one. Tabo Ramo happy, and the Tabo is not here. I hope Tabo also will say no. Sadamun no ilele and ask her how now there. So he says, eh, Tabo Ramo happy, eh, kia namu no ilele ask her how now. And abar ki mushwetz or utlomu minye elaw tiyas galaxy mushab. And what a nice one, what a nice one. Yeah, now, uh, I also want to share about this team. You know, I'm very much impressed with these guys. I hope you see this one. Stelis, can you see this? Yes, yes, I can see You that. know, Stelis, when they send you uh, the news package, they give you everything, you know? Uh, even the way it has been shot, it's quite exciting. Their next game, it's Golden Arrows. They also have the next game with a, a super spot golden arrows 29 april uh, it will be on dstv at danny craven stadium half past five kickoff and then on the 2nd of may they're playing uh tut and then um at um they're playing at tut stadium and they're playing super sport uh, united the kickoff is at half past seven the priest one the first one is not half past seven it's half past five i made a mistake this is Stelis. Stelis, they give you, this is the statement of the coach. And then I'll ask Tabiki to share it on our Facebook page. And those people who are not part of uh, our Facebook page, please, you're welcome to join our Facebook page because you also shared a lot of news. Then you can see the statement of the coach. Now, these are the past games. 
This is Telis, you know, I'm very impressed. This is what I'm talking about. If we get the news, we'll definitely share. And then these are the previous games that they, they played about seven, seven games. They've won two, drawn four, uh, uh, lost one, and goals four is seven, goal against it's six. This is Stelis that you can see with which teams. And this is the position that they're in, that position seven, and then with 33 points, all right? And then uh, they're left with, uh, the, this is how they play the last five games, you know? And then, uh, so this is a goal difference there. It's minus two, and then they have 34 goals. So this is Stelis, they give you everything. So you'll be excited. Uh, you know, they say this statistic is as accurate as the 27th of April at 10 a.m., all right? And then uh, this is, uh, you know what? I, I enjoy this, and I hope Tabiso will be able to share this so that people can read for themselves. We want this, and Stanis will always bring their ladies uh, to the picture, as you can see them there, uh, which is quite good, and then... Uh, yeah, here is this guy, Reneke, who's scoring goals like nobody's... Uh, it's like they're going out of fashion, man, at his age, you know? And then their last game, they beat Mroba Silos 3 near, And then uh, at Danny Craven. These are the statistics, the goals, the shots. I mean, what more? What impresses you more? And then the coming fixture, all right? The coming fixture, as you can see, and then uh, they'll be playing... Super Sport United, Kukune, Marisbeck, TX Galaxy, the timings are there. And then, uh, yeah, and I always say, give us the news, we'll give, we'll give you. You can get the tickets at web tickets or at pick and pay if you visit those uh, pick and pay stocks. All right. And then NetBank semi final Stelis will be playing as Kukune United, as you can see there. And then, uh, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, this is the squad of Stelis, all right? Uh, and big up Stelis, you are doing a great job. You are doing a very great job. These are the sponsors of Stelis. As you can see, their partners there. It's Rama, it's uh, Lecoq Sportif, and then it's Equil Viv, it's Toyota, it's uh, Stellenbosch, it's Remgro Limited. Those are the news about Stelis. I don't know, Sepan, what do you want to say about what I've just shown about Stelis? Because these yeah, are no, some I'm, of the news that we want. Yeah, no, um, the Stelis, uh, they're actually having a good season, you know. Um, they're doing a very good job this season, especially what uh, Steve Parker is doing with the youngsters. They've got a lot of youngsters in that team. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of those players are under 25, a lot of them. So he's doing a very good job when it comes to development as well. And they've got a lot of energy, which is something that I love, you know, I love mm -hmm. watching. I mean, when I saw them on the play against Sundowns, they had energy from the first minute to the last minute, you know, mm -hmm. so it shows what kind of a team he has and what type mm -hmm. of team he's building. So mm -hmm. big up to the coach as well. They're doing a mm -hmm. very good job. And they've got support from the people from Stellenbosch as well. So, I mean, they, they, they are, they're in good hands. They've got a good organization. And the management, you know, for us, the people in the media, if we get detailed information in very clear like this, you know, it's so clear. There's no two ways about it. You don't have to doubt to see. Uh, it's very clear. So I'm very impressed with them. Now, we are going to EPL. What's your take about Frank Lampard? Uh, Frank Lampard, I love him. I love him as a, as a player. Uh, but I think this is a baptism of fire. <clears throat> He's going to uh, grow here. And then uh, the last 19 games, he's got only one win, two draws, and 16 losses. And people, if you want to know more about the uh, TBR or the Big R solutions, just go to our website, as you can see here. Visit our website, www.tbr.solutions. You'll see we're a financial company. We're doing a number of things. Just visit that website and see what's happening. So what's your take about this? Yeah, for me personally, um, uh, 
I could say that it's still early, early days, you know. Um, he doesn't even have five years, like since he started coaching. So people need to be patient with him. All managers, they not a lot of them have started off on a good path, you know, when they start coaching, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's someone that just had retired out of football and mm-hmm. they're starting, they have started their journey in becoming coaches. So they are learning, he's still learning the game uh, in terms of that role. But we do know that he's a he's a very knowledgeable coach, a knowledgeable human being. He knows a lot about football. I think he'll grow from there. Um, it's just a matter. I think luck is not on his side currently. But um, when it comes to Chelsea, maybe at least the season is it's coming to an end. But it's 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 a very difficult time for them. I mean, Chelsea hasn't won in the month of April. They haven't won a game the whole month. So. And there's an interesting stat that says that Real Madrid has scored more goals in the in the in England than Chelsea this season. So, yeah, it's, they're feeling the heat actually. I'm um, even the manager as well, you know. So, now, yeah, but if, I, I think it's something that they'll they'll overcome as time goes. If you, if you compare him with Vincent Company, who has done very well, he has won the coach of the season for their division. And uh, there were rumors that he might even go to Tottenham Hotspur, uh, and this was his first, no, not necessarily first, first instinct with the English football as a coach. Uh, yeah, but people are not the same. Uh, I think I share your sentiment. Frank will come of age. Frank will do well. Now this one, a big one. Who's gonna win the league? Let's look here. Can you see? Uh, courtesy of uh, um, I think it's a uh, Premier League, English Premier League. Uh, they are three, they give yes, us yes. this news, and then Arsenal are at 75 points, uh, and then Man City, uh, 73 points. But remember, Man City they still have two games in hand, and you can see Arsenal are left with about five games, while Man City they are left with about how many? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, about seven games. What's your take? Who's going to take the league? Honestly, so. Uh, For me, um, I did say even on the league. Uh, uh, can you hear me? I can hear you quite well. Oh, yes. For me, I did say, you know, when the league started, yes, Arsenal started on, started on a good note. Um, But Arsenal, for me, um, it's always been a team that starts on a good note and then it ends the league on a sour note. Um, Judging from the past couple of games, I had predicted that Man City will eventually overcome, you know, Arsenal. So I still believe that Man City will win this league, will take the league Um will retain the league again, you know. Um, I don't see Arsenal stretching too long and winning this league, you know. Um, for me, judging from the two teams, mm. Arsenal, they don't have the squad depth that Man City has. So they don't have mm. the legs to carry them until, you know, to fight mm. until the end. So for me, Man City started off slow, mm. but it's finishing on a high note. Arsenal started on a high note, but it's ending on a very slow note. So for me, Man City will win this league. They say Pep Guardiola says he has 15, 15 touches uh, rule, 15 passes to rule. So before the ball can reach the destiny, which is the net, uh, they must have about 15 touches. All right. And then he said 15 touches settle the nerves. 15 touches gives them that confidence that they're in control. So always 15 touches. You know, Guardiola is coming up with all lot of things. When he was at Barcelona, he would say, if you lose the ball, you must get it as quick as possible. I know that Rulani Mukwena is looking up to him to say Pep Guardiola is his idol and he models his football around how Pep plays football. And then, uh, yeah, and then I, 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 I tend to agree with you as much as I'm very sympathetic to Arsenal. As much as I wanted Ateta to win as a new coach, uh, people never believed in him. He never bought stars, uh, but uh, you know he built a team carrying the legacy of uh, Arsene Wenger. But I don't think they will they will bear the heat. Uh, Pep has experience. That's another thing because experience sometimes come to the picture. As I always say, 
Sometimes you watch a football and then experience come to the picture, just like uh, a Real Madrid. You know, Real Madrid are always there and then uh, they always do their things uh, as, as Real Madrid. Now, uh, before I move to uh, what happened uh, in, 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 in um, I'll go to the Messi special quickly so that I can show you what, what was happening in PE. Uh, the Messi special uh, this week, and then <laughs> I don't know whether you have noticed this. Now they are bringing Halat into the picture. You know, uh, they are saying, hey, Halad deserve it. And one of the guys who said that is Wayne Bruni. Listen, remember football is, is a game of opinion, all right? And then uh, we are allowed to have our different opinion. But I don't see Messi losing this one. If he lose this one, it will be the biggest robbery, all right? And I feel Messi has been robbed many Ballon d'Ors before. Um, I mean, look, last week, he netted these three titles, all right? The best player in the world, all right? The best playmaker in the world. The best international goal scorer in the world. Now, what will make the Ballon d'Or to, to, to load? For me, the eighth Ballon d'Or is loading. Yes, Halat is scoring goals, but I will go further and say how many men of the matches has Halat won? All right, because men of the match, we have beaten every 21 players in the field of play. And if you compare that with Messi in terms of men of the matches, it's 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 amazing. And I, I saw that David Beckham visited the, what you call, visited uh, um, uh, PSG training. He took pictures with all the players. But guess what? Uh, they said in his social media he showed the picture with Lionel Messi and uh, and 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 Verratti. Um, you know what? Mm -hmm. I feel sorry for Messi. He's really under tremendous pressure. I wonder how does this guy survive? David mm -hmm. Beckham for him to go there. I think he's being offensive. All right. Sorry about that. He's trying to be offensive. Remember they want him to go and play in. In Miami, all right, and yes, yes. he wants to go to Barcelona. Barcelona wants him to come. PSG, they want to keep him. So they play as if they don't want to keep him, and then at the same time they say if he leaves, he rather go to Saudi Arabia. You can imagine the pressure that the man is under, you know. And 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 I mean, David I, mm. Beckham is an icon, and then he comes there. I really, really feel sorry for, 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 for Messi. But if you ask me, I would say, Messi, just go back to Barcelona. That's where you belong. And uh, they want to. That's me, you know. Um, uh, that's me. And then uh, go back there and then uh, enjoy being, uh, being, enjoy being there because uh, that's where you belong. You know, and then we we uh, we heard one of the fans um, saying uh, saying uh, when he enters the airport, he says, "Come back, leave those idiots in uh, in what you call in in uh, uh, what's this place <clears throat> in, uh, in in in, um, in 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 France in France." So uh, I, I, for one, I would ask Messi to go and join Barcelona. Let's move on now to Saddam. Here they are. This is when they are on their way to PE. You see, so these guys, they enjoy themselves. They stop taking pictures. Can you see? It was 25 kilometers away from uh, uh, a PE uh, on N2 Road, as I always remind you. If you want to know more about us, whether it's about financial news, are you going on pension? You want to know how can we assist you to save on penalties? Remember, when you uh, resign or leave your, your 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 work at the at the age less than sixty, GPF will penalize you. So we can show you how you cannot be penalized, not even a cent. We can show you how to save. 
And then even those people who are having issues with debts, just go to our website, which is www.tbr.solutions. Then you'll get the news about us. So now those are Saddam. And then uh, this is it. They were in uh, PE, uh, Temisa branch at Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. And then, you know what, they look, they look good. And I keep on saying, please, guys, if you have the news that you want to share, uh, please share them with us, and then uh, we'll definitely share. I know Sheikhs at some point said, I where is that? Uh, where is that? At, um, what's this place? Uh, at David Tone, all right? I said, no problem, Shega. If you are ready to do that, uh, just tell me, then I'll organize. Send me the pictures that are very clear. And then once I see those pictures that are very clear, definitely I will share. There is no problem. You see, uh, they really entertain themselves. And then uh, I'll show you when they were at Black Impala nightclub, all right, Chisanyama. Um, I'll show you when they were there. Let me show you there. So they, it's an entertainment, guys. If you go with these guys, if you are organized, just like them, look at this, look at this. Eh? <laughs> but Sepa, while I'm still here, I'm, I'm one person. <clears throat> That's my values, eh? And it's about my values are not your values, eh? And my values are not the values of the viewers. I'm not in favor of this happily bubbly story. Uh, I don't like this thing. That, that's me, eh? And then, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and brandishing liquor, that's me. But people have people have their choice. We all have choices. But I'm always just telling you from my point of view. And then, uh, but yeah, this is it. How do you like this? Isn't it nice? <laughs> yeah, I know they're enjoying themselves. Eh? Yeah, yeah, that, that's Saddam and his team, you know. And then uh, let me show you that all the branches were there. That was Google Lake. That is why the numbers. Did you see the numbers? And yes, then, yes, uh, yes, yes. And Saddam is so professional. Look, he has hidden the 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 the, 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 the number plate, which is quite good. And look, he sent me nice pictures. And this is all I'm asking. From guys, the Pirates guys do that. Chiefs guys, uh, uh, Sundowns do that. The Greater Johannesburg branch. It was nice in PE, guys. All right, it was really, really, really nice. Um, and then well done, Saddam. He's a very good organizer. Um, and then uh, I don't know whether people have noticed that he can really organize. But, um, I, and then I don't know whether, uh, I, I, did I show Kukuleti? Uh, I'll try to show Kukuleti branch. And then um, uh, uh, I'll share all the branches. So, so, so that, uh, because um, as I said, if I get this news, I'll share them. If you don't share them with me, there's no way I can share them. Just like Stelis did, you know, Stelis have, done a good job. Yeah, here is a Kukuleti branch. You know, everybody was there. Can you see that? Yes, yes, I can see it. Yeah, that was Kukuleti branch. Uh, I know some of you are saying, ah, now this is Saddam's show. No, it's not Saddam's show. Uh, Saddam is doing his work. If you don't do your work, so don't expect me to 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 to, to close a guy who's, who's, who's trying his best. Oh, this is Kukuletu again. Uh, let me show. And then uh, here are the people. I think this is Tembisa branch, if I'm not mistaken, or the mixture. He hasn't told me who are these people. There they are. It's nice they're enjoying themselves. And then uh, immediately after this, I'll be sharing this to Saddam. And then, uh, then they can see themselves there. So this is it. Uh, and I challenge all the teams, Pirates, Sundowns, uh, yeah, Stelis. Stelis is giving us the good news. So once we get those, uh, let me hear you. What do you want to say before I, 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 I know you. You, you said you are going to the game uh, uh, during the the derby, the net bank, and I'll be getting yes, pictures yes, yes. from you. Uh, now you've got a big challenge, eh? <laughs> <laughs> got a big challenge. Yeah, I know. 
to do yeah, I know it's beautiful what Saddam is doing. It's very yeah. beautiful. I mean, him sharing, you know, the whole experience, you know, he even sharing the news. I mean, he always keeps us informed and entertained as well. So it's good to have someone on the ground like that, you know, always keeping us informed and so that we can know what's happening out there. Yeah, so that, uh, you know, people know that uh, uh, what's happening is not only about going to the game. And they're still in PE, yeah? And they are playing. When are they playing again on Monday? Yes, yes. They are playing on Monday, so uh, so they will be soon uh, uh, joining here uh, in, in Johannesburg. Now, let me continue. Here is another one uh, branch is Refa Refa Hotzo Refa Hotzo Refa branch causing for life, causing for life. That's another branch. Uh, there is another one here. Um, that is why it was flooded, uh, um, uh, Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium, Social Bank branch. It was there too. And then uh, I ended up with the Tembisa branch with the man himself, Saddam Maki. Tawo, Saddam said, well, now you have bewitched him. So that is why he could not come in. <laughs> Uh, last one, thank you very much. Thank you very much for being in the show. Uh, I know that you, these few days you have been struggling to be in the show because you also have other commitments that you are doing. But thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And then just bid the viewers farewell. And then as I continue to say, please, guys, subscribe. Please comment. And then, uh, yeah, we'll try our best to make the show the best. Let me remind you for the last time, if you want to know more about us, go to our website, www.tbr.solutions. We don't have .co.za. Just be careful of that. Even our email, they don't have that. It's www.tbr.solutions. Uh, uh, last one, give them, bid them farewell. Yeah, I know. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Shawala, and to the viewers out there. And yeah, as we're seeing that the numbers are growing, uh, we really appreciate it. And yeah, thanks to all the followers and everyone that keeps on giving us information, the news on on the news sites and any and all updates that come, you know, and on the ground as well. Thank you for those who keep sharing the information that's on the ground, uh, the likes of Saddam and the others as well. Also on the group chat. Uh, of the TBR show, uh, Mr. Tawo as well, and the other members as well. Thank you very much for making this show and this organization a success. So I really hey, appreciate it. There is this guy that I still have to have. I tried him, Mashodi. Uh, he was in Pulukwane, but you could not connect. I still have to have Mashodi on the show. That would be nice to have him too. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Uh, and continue to subscribe. Hello, everybody. My name is The Sobre Boys, one fancy from a TBR Solution. TBR Solution is a financial company that helps people to be financially savvy. I'm sure these days you are aware that prices are very up in terms of petrol, in terms of goods and services, prices are very, very high. Now, these days, we are on a campaign to help those members of GPF or government employees especially if you are 55 years old or above and you are contemplating to resign or go on pension in three months' time, give us a call or drop us a WhatsApp, then we'll call you back so that we help you to get your money expeditiously, you know, as compared to sometimes people get their money after a long time. We will then transfer your money from GPF to Alan Gray, who we have a relationship with. And the good news is, once the money has been transferred, you will choose how much you want to earn. If you happen to pass on, your spouse will also get the same amount. Then if it happens that both of you passes on, you would have appointed or selected uh, beneficiaries. It could either be your children or anyone else. And there's nothing like age limit that they must be 22 or below. Even if they're above 22, they'll be able to get the, the 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 inheritance from you so that's how flexible it is and then um, 
I know that sometimes people, they worry about medical aid and all that. We also have with other partners who assist you to get a medical aid. So if you want to learn more and get more information pertaining to that, just drop us a WhatsApp. We'll therefore come back to you. I thank you.